How do you solve that age-old problem of trying to tempt the children out for a walk on a cold, wet January afternoon when it's much warmer and cosier in front of the TV? Well, could one answer be to offer them treasure? I said treasure! One step beyond! Welcome to the world of geocaching. Hidden somewhere near you are geocache boxes. Sort of this way, isn't it? Once you've registered online, you get clues about their locations off the internet, pop them into a GPS device, or you can just download an app for your phone, and the race is then on to find the treasure troves. Instead of just having a mindless walk with nothing to do, we can go and look for treasure. <laughs> You're like a kid. <laughs> the screams that come out of bushes across the countryside. <laughs> this is where you have to really forget the GPS and just use your eyes and sniff it out. Because we're close, we're that close. <gasps> in the water! It's in the water! It's in the water! They found it! Wow! There it is, it was in the water. Oh, well and the idea is now, you open it up, you can take out a little gift as long as you put something back in it. So we've got a notebook here, look, people have signed it. You can take items from the geocaches as long as you leave something for the next explorers in return. Badge from the Olympics there. A picture of Susanna, which I'm going to roll up. Sorry to do that to you, Susanna. Pop the lid on, and we'll hide it again for the next person to find. There are now 75,000 or so geocaches hidden around the UK. The first one, the original one, planted 10 years ago, is somewhere in this thicket. A great sense of excitement, celebrating the anniversary of the first one ever placed. Who could be the first to find it? They found it, they found it. Open it up and let's see what's inside. The 10 year old cache. I love like going around and getting them and trading toys. And it's quite exciting and thrilling when you just find something that you've been looking for. <laughs> going in hedges and getting ourselves pricked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really go on walks. I don't have a dog or anything, but it's really fun just doing it with everybody that you know. It was different to like just walking. Oh, yeah, it's happy birthday. It's Thank cache you. is 10 years old. We had them on uh, the International Space Station, bottom of the Atlantic. Uh, some in the Antarctic, and they, ha they also practice what's known as extreme caching. It's inexpensive. And it's still um, a little bit techy, you know, so <laughs> you've got, although they're off the computers for the day, they're still, they're still gadgeted up a yeah. little bit, so yeah, it's another dimension to it, really. Once you've registered, you can plant your own geocache box, but you must do it on public land or get permission from the landowner. Well, once you've registered, you can then hide your own geocache box. So I've got one here, lots of goodies inside, and I'll mark the location on my GPS and put that on the website. And inside, I've also included what's called a travel bug. Now, whoever finds the box can take this away and move it on to the next geocache and so on and so on, so it will travel the country. It'll even travel, perhaps, the world. So, uh, bon voyage. <laughs>